What is going on, everybody? Windy City Gaming here. Today, guys, I want to uh, unbox my PlayStation uh, DualShock Edition uh, for you guys. I will also be showing you my games I have in my collection. I recently started this collection up again, guys, um, because, you know, I really grew up on the PlayStation uh, 1. So I wanted to go back to my roots, pick it up again, and, um, you know, start collecting all my favorite games I used to play guys so let's go ahead and get right into it show you guys what's inside the box and also after I will be showing you my games guys I have for the PlayStation so let's open this up push this back a little bit and First up, guys, what we have is the uh, DualShock controller. DualShock controller is, uh, man, when they came out with the DualShock, because before they had the little small one, no DualShocks, and that one was cool, but once they, they busted this one out, man, this was heaven. Still crispy. Such a great, great controller. PlayStation, uh, I like both, you know. I, I feel like the PlayStation, uh, PlayStation, the DualShock controller, I should say, is far, my, far, far, by far my favorite. So there's the remote, guys. <clears throat> um, you know, it does have the power cable, of course. Need that. Set that over there. And we do have the standard AV uh, for it. And let's open this guy up real quick. We do have it in the styrofoam still. Put the styrofoam to the side. We'll check out the X. Er, I'm sorry, the Sony PlayStation here. So what sucks? So what really sucks about this? I don't have the manuals, guys, but I do have the original box. It even's got. It, it even has the R Zone label on there from you know back when Toys R Us was up and running. But yeah, guys, um, what game's in here? Oh, Mission Impossible's in here. Here, I'll get that and put it in the case really quick, guys. But yeah, I've been, um, you know, wanting to show you guys my uh, PlayStation. I will be I will be picking up uh, soon, guys. I will be picking up some of my favorite titles like Siphon Filter. Um, I will be picking up some of the Crash Bandicoots, of course. Um, I will be picking up Silent Hill. I have Silent Hill. I just couldn't find it, but I don't have the original case for it. Just the disc. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, that's cool. So you got you know your memory card slot. Uh, but I will be picking up those guys. Uh, let me think. What else? Um, the Siphon Filter, the Resident Evil. Um, Siphon Filter, Resident Evil, Crash Bandicoot. Um, man, so many others. I'd have to, <clears throat> you know, go in, go in the store and check them out again, guys. I have so many favorites. And I do have two memory cards for it as well. I'm actually going to hook this up real soon, guys, as well. And uh, But you have your, you know, your your AV, your, um, <clears throat> your power. And uh, this, I, I'm not sure if it's for a screen, if you could hook it up to a screen or not. I do have the the small version as well. I do have the uh, the the little PlayStation One, the little white one as well. I do not have the box, but I do have the system. And there is the system, guys, <coughs> itself. And we'll get this out of the way. We'll put this back inside. Uh, so yeah guys let me uh, show you guys some of the games here I currently have we'll reposition this um, let's see what we got here guys um, so I'm going to show you guys the games I have without cases like I said I do have Silent Hill but I couldn't find it uh, so I have Silent Hill the very first one um, I have um, the X-Files it's four, four discs 
I found one of the four discs. The other ones are in my storage unit. I have to go upstairs in um, the attic and bring them down. But yeah, I have the. I don't have the case for these games I'm showing you guys right now. Uh, the X Files four disc. I have that one. Uh, next up, guys, I do have Namco Museum Volume Three for the PlayStation. And also, I do have. I apologize. I do have the case for this one. I just wasn't able to. Here, let me check over here really quick. Um, no, it's not there. Um, so yeah, I believe it's in storage as well, guys. Uh, I have to get um, up there this week. Uh, but I do have Driver Two. I do have the original case for this one, and uh, you know the second disc as well. Two disc. Um, Next up, guys, I do have Spyro the Dragon. This one I do not have a, a case for. These were pickups I came across at, like, you know, thrift shops, Goodwills, whatever. They were just single like that. So I picked them up uh, pretty cheap, like a dollar. I do have Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer was a good one, fun one. Um... And lastly, guys, for the no case, I have uh, Crash, the Crash Team Racing for the uh, PlayStation. Sucks I don't have a case for this one because I do have it for the Xbox. I, I'm not, I think I have it for the PlayStation 2. Uh, but nevertheless, yeah, I have it for the PS1 as well, guys. Uh, next up, guys, <clears throat> I do have, and this is the cool old school box. Um, I have Game Day. Uh, football NFL game day um, Check that out guys. This is nice man. I like this a lot because it's like right. It's got that retro look to it the case It's got the book in here And it's got the game up there So this one's pretty neat. I really like this one It's got the the old-school case. So I have this one Um, Next up guys I don't have the original case for it, but I do have the artwork and the games as well. I have Parasite Eve 2. This game was creepy, man. This was a really good game. I actually been wanting to replay this, you know, the Spirals, of course, and the uh, X-Files. But this one, man, this one used to creep me out when I was young. Parasite Eve, I used to have part one, but I did lose it through moves and all that crap but yeah I have uh, Parasite Eve guys uh, disc 1 and 2 this is part 2 Parasite Eve so what I can do is I can just pretty much grab a case CD case and just you know put this in there it's got the siding it's got the front and it's got the back as well so yeah guys I have Parasite Eve 2 as well Put this one over here. Parasite Eve, man. If you guys haven't tried that, that game's creepy as hell. <clears throat> so I have that one. Um, next up, guys, I did showcase this when I picked it up. I have Grand Theft Auto uh, for PS1, the Collector's Edition. This comes with the London Edition. It comes with Part 1 and 2. See, it's got the London Edition. That's like the DLC Edition or whatever. It's got GTA, the first original one. It's got Part 2 as well. So yeah, guys, these are classics, man. I, I definitely had to pick these up. Uh, these are in one of my game hunting weekly pickups. I'm not sure exactly which one. But if you guys haven't seen these, man, I will be playing these. Um, these games are so much fun, man. The early, early GTAs, man, are some of my favorites as well. Crap. Um... But yeah, guys, and I picked this one up for... How much did I pick this up for? Man, I don't recall, to be honest, guys, but it wasn't it wasn't too much. So I have that one. Uh, next up, guys, uh, like you guys saw, I do have Mission Impossible. Another great game. I have this for the 64. Uh, you know, I used to play a lot for the 64 with my brothers when it came out. Uh, but I do have uh, Mission Impossible, guys. Great game. Whoops. Uh, there's that one. It's Mission Impossible. <clears throat> we'll get the cables out the way. It's Mission Impossible, guys. 
And uh, next up, I do have Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. This game's awesome, man. I remember uh, playing this one at a buddy's house. I never owned it uh, at the time because I couldn't afford it, but you know, it is a it is a great game, and I did come across it recently, and I I definitely picked it up. A couple bucks, you know, nothing nothing major. So I do have that one as well. I'll move these out the way. I have that one as well. I'll just put it over here next to that. <clears throat> and uh, I do have uh, Tenchu. I remember playing this one, but I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember uh, owning it. The Stealth Assassins, Live by Honor, Kill by Stealth. Uh, it is a, a greatest hit edition. But it is uh, completing in, in really, really great condition as well, guys. Um, you know, I, I do remember playing this one. Another one I used to play a lot with my brothers was Bushido Blade. I don't know if you guys remember that one. Man, that was an amazing game when you guys used to square off with, uh, with katanas. Man, I really wish I could find that game. Uh, my brother might actually still have it, to be honest, in his storage area. But, yeah, man, such great games for the PS1 as well. I have that one. Next up, guys, I do have <clears throat> Dark Stone. I don't know if you guys ever played Dark Stone, but it's it's like RPG ish. I want to say it is an RPG game. It's fun. Ah, uh, let's see what it says here. It says the the one peaceful world of Uma is living under the dark shadow of the dragon uh, Drak. Evil is spreading like a virus, and only you can stop it. Look deep inside yourself. Is there a dragon slayer within? <clears throat> so yeah, when, once I read that and I I seen it, I definitely picked it up. This was man, I want to say a couple dollars as well. Um, not very expensive, man. Check that out, Oni. That Oni shit was man, amazing. I don't have that one, but man, I love that. So yeah, guys, I have Demon Stone or Dark Stone. <clears throat> Next up, guys, one of my favorites, UFC Ultimate um, Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC. Oh, this one's pretty cool, man, for the early ones. Um, you know, fighting, and I always liked uh, fighting games like this. I thought that was a wave race for a second, but... Yeah, fighting games, we used to play a lot of, um, what was it, um... What was it, Knockout Kings? We used to play all the time with me and my brothers. We always used to beat the crap out of each other on that one. That game was, man, so much fun. Again, another one I got to pick up, Knockout Kings. Um, such a great game, man. And, you know, a lot of great memories. Uh, so there's that one, guys. There's the UFC. And lastly, guys, uh, I do have uh, Spyro uh, Ripter's Rage. Uh, this one, I believe I have not played. I did play the very first one I have. I don't believe I played the second one or owned the second one. But, I mean, now they have the remasters, guys. But not, nothing that's compared to the OGs, you know what I mean? Playing the OGs and OG graphics and just remembering when you played them as a child, man. These games are awesome, guys. So that was, that was my, you know, my last game I have for the PS1 collection, guys. But like I said, guys, this collection will get bigger uh, as time progresses. <clears throat> I will, you know, um, be finding a lot, uh, be out, be looking for a lot better games, guys. Uh, I feel like this upcoming year, 2020, I want to really, you know, I go to places and just what they have is what I'll take, you know what I mean? So I feel like this upcoming year, I really want to go and hunt these games down, like, you know, the Siphon Filter. I want to go out and look for it and buy it and show it to you guys, you know. The Resident Evil Director's Cut, get out there, buy it, find it, you know, show it to you guys. So I'll be doing a lot of that in 2020, guys. Um, not just what I usually come across, but more of the stuff that I want to buy and put in my collection, guys, as far as the PlayStation goes. Because me and the PlayStation, man, there's a lot of love there, man, for, for me and the system. Uh, because I grew up on it. It's my very first system. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching this vid, man. I really appreciate it. If you guys like it, go ahead and get, drop me a like. <clears throat> if you guys haven't already, man, Windy City Gaming is where it's at, guys. 
you know and uh make sure you guys sub man hit that uh that notification bell let you know every time i upload guys guys i've been having a lot of fun with these videos showing you guys all my collections guys truly appreciate love all your guys feedback support and as always guys i will be out but see you guys on the next one alchemist gone deuce